All Hands Update recently spoke with the Chief of Naval Personnel, Vice Admiral Scott Van Buskirk, to discuss topics of concern to the fleet. One of the topics was the plan for improvements to the Individual Personnel Tempo Program, or iTempo. Each unit, with the, the amount of people in each unit, there's a fair amount of travel between uh, each of the individuals, and keeping track of that is a, is a challenging, but, uh, um, challenging task, but one that, that can be done, and we need to help with the people who manage it by giving them, again, some of the information technology improvements to help, help them do that, and that's what we're doing right now. Admiral Van Buskirk also mentioned the success of iTempo is directly impacted by the timeliness and accuracy of the iTempo representatives and commanding officers in the fleet. You're going to see that, and, I, and I've seen, that uh, the vector is in the right direction in how we're conducting iTempo. So our reporting requirements, uh, reporting is actually uh, significantly improved over here for the last couple of months because we put the appropriate emphasis in that. Because it's very important that we do collect eye tempo as you mentioned you know for the from the individual perspective is how are, how is how is each individual um, operational tempo um, how is that being managed and uh, what are our people doing it gives us a good gauge on our entire workforce and how they're engaged and how we need to manage them how we need to compensate them uh, for how they're operating iTempo is designed to track and report deployment days for individuals who are away from their home port or assigned unit. For more information and a complete list of iTempo points of contact, read NAVADMIN 335-12. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Brandi Wills.